we'll come inside and here's our little shed and that has our generator our tools we got little wood for inside my brother made this you know it's not the most amazing piece of furniture in the world but my god we're not gonna throw it away normally we take off our shoes when we enter but we're gonna make an exception this time so now we are in the immaculate kitchen of our cabin here nothing spectacular but you know we got what we need and some the oven wasn't here when we bought it we brought the oven in got some basic shelving you know what i mean nothing spectacular don't mind the diet and the whoppers this was here you know the guy had made this countertop it's beautiful you know what i mean but this happened this year it's not the most pressure in the world but hey it works <laughs> and then we can filter it you know we got a filter that hooks up to the well goes through the filter goes into the tank upstairs which you'll see and then we filter it through here so we do filter it twice before we drink it haven't had it tested yet but it passes the taste test for flying <laughs> colors the guy who built this house his name was wayne sap he was from iowa him and his wife bought this land and built the house they were going to use it as a summer retreat but then they had before he finished the house they had a big tornado storm that blew down their biggest barn in iowa and they needed money so they ended up turning around and selling the place and uh, that's why we got it for such a good deal but now i'm really glad at first i saw it as like kind of a gosh i got this house i don't know what to do my lord but now i'm thankful because we've been able to do a lot more work outside and I couldn't build something like this. You know, I just couldn't, not yet in my life, you know. Like I stated before, there are unfinished projects, you'll see. We put the wood stove in, it works amazing. It's an earth stove, it's not cast iron, it's steel. And yeah, that's our, our money maker right there. It really heats up, we heat up our water on it. A lot of times we got cast iron skillets we put on there, so we'll heat water and cook. Got this sweet little fan that spins as it heats. And that spins or pushes some air around. Got my unfinished mosaic, which is just gorgeous, I know. My God, <laughs> everybody wants to buy one of these. Got a nice little hide bed here, little corner area where we hang out. When it's clear, like right now you can see a little bit, but looking to the west, there's Mount Redoubt, which is a volcano. And yeah, our northern view is Tarisky Valley. You'll see a lot of moose down there, hear wolves, coyotes at night. Doesn't take too much to heat pretty small all right so our bathroom here like i said is unfinished because i'm not really that great of a carpenter now we have a toilet that runs which i don't care about but my girlfriend cares about and i can understand why it's nice when people come over to be able to send them to the toilet instead of the outhouse not to get private but i pee all around the outside of our land you know not the 20 acres but where we have the orchard and that acts i think uh, as like a border for the animals to stay away we mark our territory and i talk to my dogs like they're little humans and i'm like go pee on the borders and i swear they do man so yeah now we got a toilet which is nice but we would like to put a bath not sure if dimensions match up we do have it plumbed for water both hot water on demand system as well as the cold water so once i figure out a design that i want in here which i'm having trouble with we'll get it done you know but in the meantime we go to anchor point it's eight miles away and you know going to town to check the mail or whatever and there's a nice laundry mat shower place pay five bucks 11 minutes of hot shower i mean you know i'm a infantryman myself so i take like a two minute shower a lot of times i don't take the whole shower i'm like all right you know so sometimes same thing as with the generator like do i need to do it do i need to make a shower in here you know but i know it would be nice at some point especially if we want to rent it or just to have it finished but so this is the bathroom it's pretty basic right now and then we have a back room back here that we just put some flooring down for and that's generally used for like right now our worker he stays in that back room and we've had people visit they stay in the back room but yeah that's just kind of storage right now so walking up the stairs to my loft which is actually a sauna and <laughs> when we have it heated up in here it's a beautiful thing and a bad thing you know having a loft like this we don't have an overhead fan, which we would really like to get, or some other fan up here, but when it's cold outside and you have the heat blazing up here, I mean, you're sleeping desnudo, yeah. <laughs> which is Spanish for without clothes. Like you can't be in clothes, it's so hot, so man. Hot. 
We did have a house sitter stay here at one point and she was really into, what's that, hot yoga, Bikram? Yeah. And she was like, this is the best yoga studio ever, you know? And she loved it, but same type of thing. Um, floor's unfinished, you know? We got some carpet tiles, thinking about laying down, but then I'm like, oh, why should I? I got other things I wanna do, but pretty simple, you know? Got her bed, her little table area, a rocking chair, you know, a friend gave us, her little hot water heater. Earlier, I made a mistake, because usually I have Levi, who's the plumber, fill up the water tank. You know, we run the well, fill up the water. Well, I was the one in charge, and of course, I'm Mr. Multitask, so I was building a fire at the same time, and it overflowed, you know? So we ended up having a little bit of water that went on the ground here underneath it, and I'm cleaning it up, so <laughs> sorry for the mess. But it's our little closet space, you know? It ain't nothing spectacular, man, but it's easy, it's simple, you know? I don't spend a lot of time looking at what I'm gonna wear in the morning. I generally just put it on and go forth with my day so yeah i mean it's nice up here man you know you can sit in the rocking chair and look out to the north and if it's winter i mean literally you can lay in bed and you can see the northern lights i mean my girlfriend's first winter was here in alaska her first winter and on her birthday october 1st of that year i remember i woke for some reason i had to wake up and go to the restroom and i went outside on the deck and i looked up and they were just all over the sky. I was like, oh my God. I came upstairs I was like, Sunrisa, Sunrisa, you gotta go, check it out, check it out. She's like, what, what? And she gets out there and literally just cries. She's just she crying. Cried. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, she was up for like 45 minutes, you know, like you can walk probably longer. Me, I've seen it so much, you know, I grew up in Nome, but seen it so much, it's like, oh yeah, the Northern Lights, it's great, you know, but it is really nice to be able to be in your own home, look out the windows, go on your deck, there's no light pollution, which is another huge quality in off-the-grid living. No light pollution. I see the stars. I see, you know, I wouldn't say Uranus, but uh, <laughs> I see some things out there, you know. Um, and yeah, man, so, so it's nice. Yeah, this is the spot.